When I was three years old, my mother decided for one carnival to dress me up as a Greek soldier. I was born in Argentina. This was the 1960s. So it was quite rare, I guess, for most people to see someone dressed up as a Greek soldier. And apparently I was very proud because everybody kept on asking me, what are you dressed up? And I was so, so I'm dressed up as a Greek royal soldier. So since then, I think Greece is not only a country for me. Greece is also a state of mind. The one thing about doing books that I find extremely moving is that they, they sort of live longer than you live. Books will live in many ways forever. So when I put the idea of the book together, I thought a lot about that. I thought I wanted to show a Greek that felt to me authentic. The houses that I love most are the houses that represent the owner of the house. So I don't care if the house is grand or humble, but if it shows the personality of the owner, that is what I love. There's something really organic about Greek houses. There's a certain uh, human dimension to Greek houses that I love. And that's what I think a lot of the people, like myself, who comes to Greece every year, come because of that humanity, that sort of being able to fit in. And I think the architecture of Greece actually helps you sort of fit in. There's nothing pretentious about Greece architecture. So you sort of move in and you feel right at home. I think the Greeks, in a way, are also slightly minimal in the way they sort of put their rooms together. What's there is very meaningful and has a role. And I love houses like that. I like rooms like that. Greece is a country that is blessed by an incredible light. But sometimes the light is so strong that it takes away the soul of a room. So I often found myself photographing either early in the morning or towards the end of the afternoon when the light became softer again and when the soul of each room came alive. So it was a bit of a contradiction that I came to the place where there is the most light and in order to photograph the book, I sort of ran away from it. I feel that light is one of the great elements in making a room come alive. And there were houses where the light, although we were in Greece, was so soft and so beautiful that it reminded me of the light in the rooms painted by Vermeer. There are houses where the owners not only understand the way the light falls in the rooms and they understand the way the wind goes through the room in the summer, for example, but they also have a great knowledge and great pride of the history of their country, which allows them to sort of be able to collect things that are sort of meaningful to the history of the house in which we are. So, for example, in this house, there's a reason for everything. There are elements that are very Greek, but there are elements that are foreign, for example. In this house, there's a room with a Venetian mirror. And the reason why that Venetian mirror is there is because in the 19th century, most of the houses on this island, the only mirrors that they had came from Venice. So there's a sort of trying to recreate the tradition of the place by the way they put the house together. I'm very grateful that I have had the opportunity to do this book about Greece because in a way, for me, 
this is the way to pay back because I'm very happy here and I have been very happy here. It kind of feels like home to me. And this is because of the way I have been treated every time that I've been here. So this is my way to say thank you. So it's nice now that the book is done and I hope the Greeks will like it. When I started doing this book and when I worked